Midpoint formula. How to use the midpoint formula? What is it? The midpoint is a point that divides a segment into two congruent parts. Why? Helps in locating the end if we know the start and the middle. Interesting fact. Giant pandas have a lifespan of around 20 years in the wild. Now here are the examples that we're going to be discussing in today's video. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, use the formula. Step two, follow order of operations. Now let's read the question. Segment AB has the endpoints negative four, three, and two, three. Plot the midpoint M of segment AB. Segment AB has already been plotted. So let's go ahead and write down the two coordinate points that they gave us, negative four, three, and two, three. Now we're going to label those two points. We're going to label the first point, negative four, three, as x1, y1, and we're going to label the second point, two, three, as x2, y2. Can you flip-flop the labeling? Yes, you can, and you will still get the same answer, but we're going to continue this way. And our next step is to write down the midpoint formula. And that formula is x1 plus x2 divided by two, and y1 plus y2 divided by two. So now we're going to substitute the ordered pairs into the formula, and we're going to get started with the x part first of the ordered pairs. So we're going to substitute negative four for x1 and two for x2. And now we're going to substitute the y part of the ordered pairs in the formula, and we have substituted three for y1 and three for y2. Now we have negative four plus two divided by two and three plus three divided by two. Now we're going to simplify the ordered pair by following the order of operations by adding the numerator of the x part of the ordered pair. And that gives us negative four plus two, which gives us negative two. And we keep the same denominator of two. And now we're going to add the numerator of the y part of the ordered pair, and that gives us six because three plus three is six. We keep the same denominator of two. Now we have negative two divided by two and six divided by two. Let's continue simplifying the ordered pair by simplifying negative two divided by two, which is negative one, and six divided by two, which is three. So now we have our midpoint M, which is equal to negative one, three. Now let's go ahead and plot that midpoint on segment AB and the point M is halfway between point A and point B. Now let's show you why that is the case. So we're going to divide segment AB in half at point M and now we're going to count from point A to point M and from point M to point B. Now let's go ahead and get started with that by starting at point A. So we have one, two, and three. So we have three spaces between point A and point M. Now let's continue by counting at point M and counting to point B. So we have one, two, and three. So we have three spaces from point M to point B, which is the same amount as from point A to point M. So we can say that point M is in the middle of segment AB. And negative one, three is the midpoint. So let's go ahead and take a look at example two. Let's read the question. Segment AB has the endpoint two, four, and two, negative one. Plot the midpoint M of segment AB. Segment AB has already been plotted on the graph, so let's write down the two coordinate points that they gave us, two, four, and two, negative one. Now we're going to label the coordinate points, we're going to label the first point two, four as x1, y1. And now we're going to label two, negative one, or the second point as x2, y2. Can we flip flop to labeling? Yes, we can, we would get the same answer, but we're going to continue this way and we're going to write down the midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 divided by two and y1 plus y2 divided by two. So let's go ahead and substitute the ordered pairs into the formula, and let's begin with the x part 
of the ordered pairs and substitute 2 for x1 and 2 for x2. Now let's substitute the y part of the ordered pairs into the formula and we get 4 for y1 and negative 1 for y2. And now we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and 4 plus negative 1 divided by 2. Now let's continue to simplify the ordered pair by following the order of operations and we're going to add the numerator of the x part of the ordered pair. 2 plus 2 is 4. We keep the denominator 2 and now we're going to add the numerator of the y part of the ordered pair. 4 plus negative 1 is 3. We keep the same denominator of 2. And now we have 4 divided by 2 and 3 divided by 2. Let's continue to simplify. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. And our midpoint M is 2, 1.5. Let's plot point M on segment AB. Point M is in the middle of segment AB and let's show you why that is the case. So we're going to go ahead and cut segment AB in half at point M. And now we're going to count from point B to point M and from point M to point A. So let's go ahead and get started at point B. So we have one, two, and a half. So point B to point M is two and a half spaces. And now let's go ahead and start counting at point M to point A. So we have half, we have one, and we have two. So from point M to point A is two and a half spaces. So we know that point M is in the right spot and that the midpoint of 2, 4 and 2, negative 1 is 2, 1.5. Now let's take a look at example 3. Let's read the question. Segment AB has the endpoints negative 3, 0 and 5, 4. Plot the midpoint M of segment AB. Now let's go ahead and write down the points because the segment AB is already plotted and our points once again are negative 3, 0 and 5, 4. Let's label the points. The first point negative 3, 0 as x1, y1 and the second point 5, 4 as x2, y2. Once again, if you want to flip-flop the labeling of the points, you can because you will get the same answer. But We're going to continue with this process. So let's write down the midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Before we begin with the substitution, let's show you another way to do this using the graph. So let's go ahead and draw a vertical line so that the end of the line is on the same line as point B. And now let's start counting. So we have 1, 2, three and four. Now let's draw a dotted line halfway in between that all the way to segment AB. And now we're going to draw a horizontal line where we stopped with the vertical line all the way to point B. And now we're going to start counting. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once again, we're going to draw a dotted line halfway between that all the way to segment AB. And now we found point M, our midpoint. Let's verify that is the case by substituting each part of the ordered pair into the midpoint formula. And let's begin with each X part of the ordered pair and substituting that into the formula. And we have negative 3 for X1 and 5 for X2. Now, Let's substitute each y part of the ordered pair into the formula and we get 0 for y1 and 4 for y2. And now we have negative 3 plus 5 divided by 2 and 0 plus 4 divided by 2. Now we're going to simplify the ordered pair by following the order of operations and we're going to add the numerator of the x part of the ordered pair and we get negative 3 plus 5 and that is 2. Now, let's continue to add the numerator of the y part of the ordered pair and we get 4 because 0 plus 4 is 4. Now, let's continue to simplify and we get 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 
and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our midpoint for this segment is 1, 2. Now, it is your turn, so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer this question, and I will show you the answer in 3, 2, and 1. If you got it correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.